What's up, what's up, man? Come on in, come on in. Y'all, we're chilling, we're chilling. You already know exactly what time it is. We're back here to search some more game on the ground for more ground. So just go out to pound and are ready for the next round. So with that being said, I hope everybody's having a good day today. My day's been high. My day's been pretty good, pretty chill, pretty regular, average day in the regularly scheduled program. Not much to complain about, you know. Uh, a couple of things here and there that come up, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, what are you really going to do about it besides taking care of what you're supposed to do, you know? A lot of people run from the responsibilities of what they're supposed to do, uh, but you gotta face them head on. Because if you don't face them head on, then they're just gonna stick around. And when they stick around, they linger over your head. And then, uh, yeah. So uh, today's episode is gonna not really necessarily have a a, a topic, so to say. Uh, I don't understand. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Hold up. So you mean to tell me that you are a dude? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, bro. You can't make this stuff up, dude. That is crazy. You got a dude over here masquerading as a female. Isn't that something, bro? Isn't that something? What happens to just females being females and dudes being dudes? Everything is so backwards and so messed up nowadays, bro. Like, you can't even... Like, females aren't even real females anymore. Like, you don't know who a real female is and who a real female ain't no more. Uh, and that's sad. That's a shame. Because now you don't know if you're dating a trap <laughs> or if you're dating a real female. And to me, it just blows my mind. And I don't get how a dude could be so comfortable in being like that either. You know, I don't get how a dude could be so comfortable uh, acting like a female, pretending to be a female, whatever the case may be. I don't get it, bro. I really don't. At the end of the day, I will never understand it. Uh, but the reason why I will never understand it because I'm not in that type of position. I'm not the type of person. So we understand things that we are not. And we understand things that we, uh, we don't understand things that we're not. <clears throat> and uh, we don't understand things that we can't grasp. And that's just one of those things that I can't grasp, bro. It's why and how a dude thoroughly enjoys being a female. But anyways, we're going to get on with this topic, man. Uh, whether you got... Uh, whether you feel some type of pain or depression, you got to keep it pushing. You got to keep it pushing, bro. Um, it, it's hard, you know. I ain't going to lie. It's hard when you when you got to keep it pushing, especially when things happen and it, it, it just kind of throws you everywhere, throws you all over the place. It throws a wrench in everything that you had planned maybe for that specific time or maybe in your life in general. Uh, a lot of things happen. And most of the time when they happen, we don't see it coming at all. We don't. It just, boom, just like that it happens. So, and when stuff like that happens, it can cause, uh, it can cause you to fall into a depression. It can cause you to fall into an anxiety. Uh, it can cause you to fall into some, some type of pain, whether it's a mental or an emotional pain, whatever the case may be. But the hardest part about all of that is keeping it pushing and doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, I've had things that happened before uh, in my life that have brought a depression on me, that have brought uh, an anxiety on me, that have brought uh, a pain. And you'll learn that when you when you keep it pushing, you'll learn that it's a lot better on the other side. The grass is a whole lot greener on the other side, and it's so much worth it. It's so much more worth it when you make it to the other side. Uh, the the in the moment it sucks in the moment it hurts in the moment you just want to stop and give up it's like running it's like when you try to run a mile and you ain't never ran a mile before uh, or it's like trying to uh, it's like training for a boxing match when you never boxed before in the moment the pain uh, from running the pain from getting hit while you're training all that stuff, the pain from hitting the mat, it sucks. But all that pain, all that time that you put in, 
when you keep it pushing and you win that boxing fight or you run that mile, it's worth it. Because then you can, you can genuinely sit here and say that I did it. I did it. Um, but if you give up, what can you say? Oh, man, I tried. I tried to do it, but I just couldn't do it. No. No, you want to be able to sit. You want to be able to go home and say I did it. Yeah, you want to be able to go home and say I did it. You can't be able to go home and say I did it if you didn't do it. You know, you can lie to everybody else, but you can't lie to yourself. So if you're sitting around and you, you, you didn't do it, but you're telling other people that you did it, that lie is going to keep on eating up the in, your inside. It's going to keep eating you up inside, you know. Oh, yeah, I did it. And you got that voice in the back of your head. No, I didn't really do it. You didn't do it. Why are you lying? Quit lying. Yeah, I did it. No, you didn't do it. And you got that voice that's in the back of your head. It just keeps telling you over and over again. You really didn't do it. Uh, and a lot of people try to convince themselves that way that they did it. But they didn't do it. And they go home. They look at themselves in the mirror. And they just want to... Uh, they just want to punch that mirror out. They just want to punch that mirror out. Look at this, bro. That is crazy. That is crazy, bro. You got... That is just simply disgusting. The, the male human behavior in today's society is just absolutely disgusting, bro. I, I, I have to say, it's disgusting. But we're going to get back on topic. So keep it pushing through the fire, through the flames, through the pain and the chains. Just keep it pushing. Keep going. Because if you stop, there's, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing for you if you stop. The only thing that's there is failure. The only thing that there is is failure if you stop. And look at this fool asking me some goofy questions, bro. Uh, I've been there where I've stopped. I've been there where I've given up. And I said I ain't going to do this no more. Um, and I've also been there where I've said I'm going to keep going. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. And I can tell you from personal experience that uh, telling yourself that you're going to keep on going and making it to the other side, that feels so much better than than saying that I gave up, that I couldn't do it. You could do it. You just didn't. You just didn't want to push yourself hard enough to do it. You know, I tell myself that every day in the gym. Don't you give up? Don't you stop? Unless you literally cannot lift that weight. Unless you literally cannot take that extra step. Don't stop. Don't stop. Unless you physically can't do it no more. Don't stop. Because there's no. There's no point in stopping. There's no need to stop. You know, I tell myself that every time I'm running my cardio, do not stop. You, you, you have to be your biggest supporter. you got to sit there and be the person to tell yourself, keep on pushing. You know, uh, P, I, I, I've been one of those guys that, that said, oh, I only go to the gym with a friend or with a homie or whatever because so, so, blah, blah, blah. You know, I like working off of the, the energy that they give back. Or whatever the case may be, or I just don't like going by myself, or whatever. Uh, and that that mentality is is a, is a setup straight for failure. That mentality is going to set you up for failure. And the reason why is because you're not always going to have that person to tell you that this, this, you're not always going to have that person there to tell you to keep going. You ain't always going to have that person to tell you don't stop. So instead, you have to be that person to tell yourself, don't stop, keep pushing. It may be weird at first going by yourself. It may be something to get used to going by yourself. But once you do, then you don't mind it so much and it becomes a whole lot easier. And then you can just go on your own time. You go whenever you need to go and do whatever you need to do. And that's not just with the gym. That's in life in general. you got to tell yourself, don't give up. And with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here. I'll be right back for the next episode. Make sure y'all uh, tap the follow and the bell button. Make sure y'all also share with your friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else. Y'all know with that being said, I'll be right back. Deuces.